सो हाय वेलकम टू टेक्नोड ही आर वी आर रिप्रेजेंटेटिंग वन ऑफ आवर प्रोडक्ट दैट इज फोर जी आई ओ टी गेट वे दिस गेट वे कम्स विद स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेंटी फोर वोल्ट डी सी इनपुट ओके एंड एन आर एस फोर एटी फाइव इनपुट सो दिस गेट वे हैज एन एडिशनल फीचर ऑफ डिजिटल इनपुट एंड एज वेल एज एनालॉग इनपुट सो दिस हैज फोर डिजिटल एंड फोर एनालॉग इनपुट अवेलेबल ओके दिस गेट वे कैन ऑल्सो कम विद ओनली आर एस फोर एटी फाइव विदाउट दिस इनपुट ओके सो देर आर टू मॉडल्स अवेलेबल आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग द मॉडल विद इनपुट्स Uh, currently, for representation purpose, we have attached over here one uh, secure Elite 440 uh, multi-function meter, and this multi-function meter is uh, connected uh, via this twisted pair cable to this uh, our gateway. Okay, and as you can see, as we have not connected any phase, all the voltages are zero zero zero. Okay, and just to test uh, our uh, gateway um, wirelessly, we have inserted one SIM card over here. So SIM card slot is at the top side. Okay. You can insert any uh, 4G based SIM card, 2G, 3G, all 4G types of SIM cards, all SIM cards, including the Jio, all uh, SIM cards are supported. Uh, so now coming towards uh, looking for the data, uh, I have connected here one application. Uh, so this application is basically an MQTT box application. So here you can see. Um, the data is coming in the json standard uh, key value pair format so in a two curly braces and with a comma separated data all key value pairs like date uh, date and time then time stamp and all the values like 0000 as you can see all values are zero because we haven't connected any phases also the value for digital and analog inputs are coming and the uh, values are getting refreshed uh, time to time okay now here i have subscribed to two topics this is a status topic so device is continuously sending a data to the status topic and as well as there is one topic called as a command response and there is one publisher uh, where i am uh, publishing to the topic of a command so when i publish to the topic of command the response i will get here in the command response topic okay so currently you can see here i have written a payload that is get device id hash #1 so when i click on the publish button as you can see i have got a command response that get device id and it has mentioned a device id which is a imei number of our device okay so all the configuration of our gateway is possible through the internet that is iot side okay your dashboard also can do all the configurations related to the gateway such as setting as the baud rate bit rate of the modbus configurations okay so this gateway is totally configurable via internet without any connection so as you can see my laptop is actually not connected to the gateway with with any usb cable so we are we are all doing this configuration over the internet okay so our gateway has one more feature that is uh, this gateway is also configurable via sms so even if the gateway is connected on site you can remotely configure the gateway so just for a demonstration purpose i have typed one message that is set mb scan interval hash 20 okay so i am just sending this message to our gateway so i have sent this message and let's see what reply we get so you can see set mb scan interval command accepted that means the modbus scan interval is set to 20 seconds okay so this is how all the configuration you can also do via sms so this is a unique feature that we are offering that you don't need to connect any usb for uh, like configuration of the gateway all the remote configuration is possible just via sms or through the mqtt site okay that is possible and uh, just for a demonstration purpose uh, here we are representing our site that is uh, for energy monitoring and this is how the data will be represented also you can export a csv file with all the time stamp and all the energy readings demand readings with three phase voltages all the data you can take in a csv or excel sheet format also a live data plotting is done over here okay for clear representation we have represented some tiles on top of side and a multiple number of users you can add inside our dashboard so this is just extra part just to represent that data is actually coming to our website so when we refresh the data comes in this format thank you